Something smells nice. Oh, I made scones. You want one? No, thanks. I, I just dropped by to say hi. I see. Checking up on me, eh? Yeah, I guess I am. So, how is everything? Are you feeling okay? A bit tired, but mostly really great. You know, I should be the one checking up on you. Are you coping with the whole breakup thing? Well, it's different. TK and I are managing to be civil to each other, at least. What about Daniel? He, he seems really excited. About buying the kid a Magda wardrobe, mate. You should see what he bought this morning. So, no regrets? A bit late for that. I mean, you feel as though you've made the right choice. Yeah. For you. I do. I mean, it happened, didn't it? I guess it happened for a reason. I made the right choice. Daniel wanted the baby so much. I don't think I could have gone through with the termination anyway. Well, I am happy to help out in any way that I can, okay? Thanks. Are you sure I can't teach with a scone? They're real good. Go on then. If you ever decided to pack in surgery, you'd make a heck of a diplomat. Why? You, Ursula, taking one for the team. Don't be so wussy. I'm trying to say thank you. Endless battles with television networks I do not need. It's just a casual thing. Funny, I could have sworn I saw you cuddling in the cafeteria. And I think it's great. You could do with someone who'll keep you in line. You were right all along, you know, about you and me. Plenty going on, but ultimately the whole thing was doomed. Too much smoke and fire, neither of us could breathe. We did have our moments. You know, if I was ever in a brawl, I'd still want you on my side. Ditto. Looks like we're destined to be buddies. I, I do want you to be happy. Well, me too. You. I think we both deserve it. Good news. You've talked to the engravers about my plaque. Uh, no, I've appointed a practice nurse. Excellent. And when does the lovely Janice begin? <laughs> Not Janice, Wendy. Surely you can't be serious. Her CV is not a patch on Janice's. A stay-at-home mom versus a career nurse is no contest. I think you should reconsider. <laughs> well, what you think has little, if any, bearing over the way I run my practice, Reuben. Wendy will start with us next week, and I look forward to you treating her with the professional respect she deserves. Well, I certainly hope you're paying her at the lowest rate. She's an experienced nurse, so I'll pay her what she's worth. Just like Daniel, she has a family to support. Feeling. You must be exhausted. Actually, there's something I thought you should know. Someone mentioned about the life support. I I'm asking them to transfer Ben to Christchurch. He can't stay here any longer. They need his bed. But that's so far away. Are you sure that's the right decision? Yes. Like I said, I thought you should know. Fabulous idea. Let's just drink a bottle of wine, skip dinner, and just go back to yours. Or if you're sold on the idea of dinner, that's fine. It's probably good that you build up some reserves. Ursula. Why do I feel as though I've done something wrong? You haven't. It's me. Of course. It's not me, it's you. No need for an explanation then. Have I just been reading this wrong? Only I thought we had this fantastic spark. We do. But you're not looking for a relationship. I still have feelings for someone else. Strong feelings. I thought it was over a long time ago. So it's come as a bit of a shock. Pity. I think I'll skip on the wine, thanks. Probably none of my business, but it's usually not a good sign when your date runs for the door. She dumped me. What did you do? Nothing. Well, I don't know. What 
two minutes ago you were all over each other. Well, yeah, it was just a one-nighter. That's all she wanted. You're fibbing to me. You've got that look on your face. I can always tell. Why are you lying to me? <laughs> just leave it, Rachel. 